76 trombones led the big parade with 110 cornets close at hand. They were followed by rows and rows of the finest virtuosos. You know what that's from? Music Man. I'm very proud of you, Corbin Miles. My brother was in that. <laughs> well, pardon me all over the place. Valentine's Day. I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. It's a artificial holiday that's made up by the card companies to get you to spend more money. No one has to tell me how to love my wife. Love you, honey. Here we go. Does that's he, my soapbox for the day. Does he like do nothing for Valentine's Day for you? Neither does she. You don't do it for each other. You're like in rebellion against the, the, yeah. the creation of it because um, it's dumb. Yeah, it's the one day a year we can be amazing. Yeah, we nice. slap each other. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. <laughs> you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for all juicy content. It's so uh, juicy. There's one thing you take away from this video. Valentine's Day is a sham. And uh, everybody's follow us on Patreon. Follow the official Twitter account. Ring the bell before on the vacation squad. You do it. <laughs> Boys and girls. Because it's Valentine's Day, we're doing a movie review. I happen to like Valentine's Day, so. It, stop, it, stop. It, 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 anyways, <laughs> uh, we are, because it's Valentine's Day, I decided I wanna, I asked the Super Babies on Twitter, I was like, hey, let's you watch know, something more romantic. You do know it existed before greeting card companies existed. Anyway. Anyways, uh, I wanted like something to do with love, basically. Not Which necessarily is, Valentine's well, Day. Well, what we should have done really, mm. is what we did the most memorable Valentine's Day of my life, mm. where you and I went and saw Moonlight together, mm. and it was a super moon, and it was, was just you and I... I thought it was just a moon. No, it was no, just like... Just, I'm adding that aspect yeah, that to it. that doesn't make any sense. It was just uh, you and I sitting together, seeing Moonlight. We saw Yai Juani Hai Juani. Watch your language, Corbin Miles. Children watch this program. Uh, it is a... Uh, read the synopsis for my It is Kabira Nina. Bond, during a trekking trip. Before Nena can express herself, Kabir leaves India to pursue his career. They meet again years later, but he still cherishes his dreams more than Bond's. Directed by, say his name for me. Uh, Ayan McCurgy. Ayan, so he's clearly Bengali. Bengali. Did he direct Swades and in... No. Yeah, yeah, no, he was just part of it. Uh, yes. It looks like he was something. Um... Then it's obviously starring Ranbir Kapoor, Topeka, who and, are we? We're just getting to know. Yes. And uh, this uh, lesser-known person, uh, what's her go? Cockle Cockle Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and um, so I do know that our last Bollywood film was still these same two people. These same two people. The only we reason know. I would have spread it out, but it was Valentine's Day, so I was like, okay, let's get a, something with a little bit of love. Yep. A little bit of love in here. Put a little love in your heart. Uh, 100% spoiler review because it came out in 2013 and uh, if you haven't seen it then that's not our fault. Get over yourself. Yep. Uh, initial thoughts? Uh, eh. Yeah? Yeah. Well, how did you go into it? I went um, into it knowing, because we've seen obviously what? Five, five of the song. musical numbers? And actually it's almost probably almost a year ago because we watched the I first know. one on Holy. I know. It was very reminiscent for me. When that started back up, mm -hmm. it was bringing up the feels for me watching yeah. that. I, I, I went into it, I kind of I could tell from it how the film was going to be. Yeah. It was a uh, teen love story. Yes. Uh, and almost like a Deborah. Yeah. A very similar style. Yeah. So I adjusted my expectations. I did too. Right off the bat. I was not, I, I, true, we, I knew enough about it based on the musical numbers and things stupid babies have said to know we're not going to get to Masha. Mm -hmm. This is probably just going to be it's fluff. It's a feel good. Feel good. You knew how, you know it's going to end. Yes. You know they're going to be together. Yes. In the end. Yeah. Right, Leland? Right. Leland agrees. <laughs> uh, you know they're going to be together. Um, but, and, um, and both, both, my initial thoughts are this. It's my favorite part of it are the musical numbers. I think mm -hmm. the musical numbers are fantastic. Yeah. I think both Ranbir and Topeka are, they, they do solid jobs mm -hmm. in what they're given. But, for me, as far as like enjoying a movie, it, it just, I found the story was a little juvenile. Mm -hmm. It really didn't, and it, not that it has to, but for me, and I, I really wasn't in a headspace of like prejudging. Mm -hmm. I knew probably what we were gonna get. 
it's it's one of those kind of take it or leave it for me. I don't dislike it, but yeah. I didn't love it. It was yeah. just kind of like, eh. I definitely enjoyed the second half. I absolutely. Half. It actually surprised me. The second half went in a place I didn't expect it to go based on well, I what it had been doing. I think it's because one, this film was directed towards young people. Yeah. This is a specific like ten things I hate about you. This is a young person's. It wasn't film. gonna go too deep. Uh, it was gonna stay pretty surface. And, and so I think the first half, what struck me was. They were trying to act younger, and they didn't. They looked my age. Well, they looked the grease factor. Yeah, yeah. They looked thirty. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and so I'm not thirty, by the way, but I'm just. That's what they looked. Right. Um. And so, it, it, the certain characters are very caricature. Like that one idiot girl. She just bothers me. Yeah. Not like full. And maybe that's because she, maybe she did a great job. No. Right. Being <laughs> what she was written to be. <laughs> maybe. Who no. knows? But that, that, that character specifically irked me every single time she was on screen because she was the, the very stereotypical ditzy. Yeah. Per, I know who they're impersonating, but I've never seen somebody like that in real life. No, I've I seen agree. people dumb, and right. I've seen people that just flirt and are there to just you know have a good time and have sex with each other. Right, but not like that. That's portrayed in a lot of I, films. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> yeah, and I but it did. It, it it took a turn that I was pleasantly surprised by, where yeah. it felt like it got a little bit when they got into the present. Mm hmm. Yeah, and and they started to actually have some like emotional depth, but at the same time, it rang a little hollow for me because I felt like the emotional depth they were trying to get mm -hmm. really hadn't justified itself based on prior mm -hmm. experience, like mm -hmm. the depth of their relationship, the depth of their life experience. So, yeah. but again, I I can understand why there'd be people who like it. Well, I, yeah, the songs know, are some of the. Oh, the songs are great. This is actually, I think, like a the most. In of current Bollywood, most Bollywood, Bollywood film you can get. With with songs it's, that it's are probably film. some of my favorite songs well, there, and films. There's a ton that are on our playlist. Yep, 100%. They're, so they're, it's, they're, it's, it's, it is. That's the best part of it for me are the songs. Phenomenal songs. My favorite, we keep talking about the acting uh, here. So my favorite was Kalki. Uh, mm -hmm. I thought she did a, a, a really good job and a, and a very different um, portrayal than all of her other stuff that mm -hmm. I've seen. It, would, it was actually close to her golly boy. Uh, it just uh, in terms of bit. the character, not the, little bit. Yeah, obviously, with what she did in Gully Boy was was much. There was a lot more depth because she yeah. was allowed to do a lot more depth than that. Correct. This movie didn't call for that. No, nope. um, but she was probably my favorite part of it, um, outside of the the songs in terms of the acting, uh, and also Ranveer and Topeka both did really really good They're jobs. Solid. It's just I think we kind of have a disadvantage sometimes, especially if we watch these films in the order that we do. So we've seen yeah. them in Tamasha. We've seen them in um, uh, Rockstar and uh, Bhagavat and Bastrapa and, and Barfi. And Barfi, yeah. And so we've seen them at their best. Yeah. And so most people saw their growth. Right. And so they, 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 it's like, it's like <laughs> you, you watch Heath Ledger in Brokeback Mountain and you watch them in Dark Knight. And then yeah. you go back, if you've never seen it before, Yes. You, and you watch 10 Things I Hate About You, and you're like, oh, that was good. Right. Yeah. But if you, well, it's, it's if been you watch how everybody else did, 10 Things, and then you watch their growth, well, it's that happened such a different with, experience. That happened with us with Renvir, and the fact that I feel like we were gypped a little bit mm -hmm. in our initial impression with him, if we had really known who he was, and then saw Gully Boy, mm -hmm. we would have been talking a lot more about him because mm -hmm. we kind of like brushed him off. Yeah. Uh, but that's kind of what happens unless you specifically have somebody who can take you through a journey uh, of somebody. Like uh, the same thing can be said for me, I think, in regard to watching Daniel Day Lewis. I have a preference as to how people watch him who've never been exposed to him. Mm -hmm. I, I would say, I'd like you to watch this, 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 and this. And they're actually not sequential for him. It's a, it's a little different. But I, I, oh, I he's agree. He's always been amazing. Yeah, he's always been amazing. It's why I, I prefer one of the first things that you ever see of his. I would prefer the first exposure to him would be Bill the Butcher. Really? I would, yeah, I would like you to get Gangs of New York in your head first. That's my favorite one of his. It's mine too. I love but that one. But then I like you to... I, I, Anyway, we're getting off into a bunny yeah. trail. Yeah. So I, I agree with you. They both they both did. I think they did the best with what they had. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I also I felt uh, just another nitpicky kind of a thing. I had wished the I wished the engagement thing. I didn't fully buy in totally to his proposal just because I felt like it's like oh okay. I, I just 
the proposal scene I wished was a bit more, I was hoping for a little bit more. I was hoping we were gonna get a little bit, he seemed a bit more, he was playful, joking, almost to the point where I was like, are, are you sincere? Are you like really sincerely wanting to spend the rest of your life with her right now? I think you are, because you decided you're not going in this career path and you're now here with her. You are proposing to her, but it was almost like, like when she said, I love you, and he didn't say it was a Han Solo moment for me. When he, she said, I love you, when he was at the table with her at the very end, and he doesn't say, I love you too, right back. Mm -hmm. it, it was kind of like, okay, where's this gonna go? So, but that's just me being really mm -hmm. nitpicky. Again, I, I can understand why there'd be some folks that like their, it, it's just not my cup of tea. Their relationship annoyed me a little bit. The fact that she was just this boring person who didn't want to travel. <laughs> that was her thing. It's just, nah, yeah, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I don't need to travel anywhere. What? <laughs> I like, fan you know you can go back, though. like, you don't, you don't have to stay out there. You can come back. Like, they're, they're gonna be here. Like, your, your boyfriend has this job that's going to send him around the world. Sorry, that's just, I, I that was, I, she annoyed me a little bit, her character. One of the, I appreciated the, probably my, one of my favorite moments was the way it was shot, the way it was written, and the way they were both in it is that little moment, the monologue as it were, when they're in the in the car and he's looking out the window and he's talking about his dad. Mm -hmm. I, I felt that that was a very nice, believable, organic moment. Um, but uh, yeah, all in all, yeah, I, eh, it's it's okay. Well, yeah, for it, it basically struck me the same as Deborah. I like Deborah a lot more. You think so? Yeah, I think Deborah has a little bit more depth. I love the songs a lot more than. Oh, the songs were way better in this. In the, in this, than the way songs. way so better. That in this. would entitle me like, I I like so I said I feel the same way even though there were parts of Deborah like when um, Nasser and Shaw came on the screen and that was amazing. And, yeah. And and there was certain scenes like that, but yeah, I feel the kind of the same way. If it's on, okay but I'm not going to put it on myself. I would leave this on solely because I want to see the musical numbers. Yeah. I, I can watch those musical numbers over and over and over again. Deborah, I actually like as a film. I actually like to sit and and watch that. I believe Rithik, I believe all three of the guys. Mm -hmm. um, I, I really, I feel like there's a little bit more maturity in it that they're dealing with some real life issues that have a well, bit more depth well, to them. I think the reason we can relate to that one more is because um, Half of this takes place when they're supposed to be in the high school or just yeah, at post high school college ish. Yeah, and so we're not in that stage of our life. True. And so a lot of people saw this at that stage in their life. True. So that's what, and that, Deborah is a much farther in their I life. I think that's probably. Story. I think that's probably true. I wouldn't. I There's would some imagine. of the writing in it that in this that that bothers me, but that might have been because they were trying to be young. I don't know. Yeah, and it's not like we can't relate to films that would have yeah. that. You know, it doesn't have to be in our wheelhouse uh, generationally for us to appreciate it. But I agree with you. I bet if we were that age when this came out, mm -hmm. we would probably find a lot more to relate to that would resonate yeah. with us. So, I, yeah, that's yeah. why I said I can see where there'd be people who really like it. For me, uh, thankfully, I didn't dislike it. Yeah, you know, but um, it's just it's not one I'm jumping up and down about saying. Oh no, I love it's this. not no. like uh, it's not like a um, Tamasha or no. It's obviously not like it's, but it wasn't supposed to be like any of those other films. That's why I'm not comparing. Good, it really Deborah's like. a good comparison, but of the of Deborah the, of the two, I for those of you who don't know what Deborah is, um, just research okay. on the channel. Go back and look at it a few months back. What are the other um, uh, kind of? Teen movies that we've seen. Oh, uh, the one header was, was really fluff. Light. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Gangs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Gangs of Wasper. Really juvenile. No. The, the, the what was the Shahid Kapoor one? That was. Um, what was it called? Oh. Um, Jab we met. Jab we met. Uh, exactly. Yeah, similar. Yep. Similar. Type Very thing. similar. And I think probably the exact same feeling of the actors did the best with what they had. Yeah. Kind of. Milk toast, light fluff. I love the musical numbers, but of that, this had this has superior musical numbers to a lot of films. This has some of my favorite we've ever seen. Yeah, I felt that way from the moment we first saw them. Yeah. It was great to see them again. Yeah. yeah, when and now that we actually understood it, because I think if you remember when the the one where Ranbir comes in at the wedding and he's surprised with that. The, the yes. Bah, buddy, uh -huh. bah, we thought like it was like oh does he love. 
Right. Oh, who does he, <laughs> right. Who does he? I remember when we first watched it. We had it. no idea. No idea. Mm-hmm. And it does help having the context. <laughs> Which I think there was actually more in this one. Like his breakdance part of it? Yeah. That wasn't in that one, I was think, it? No, it was shortened. Okay. I believe so. But that was a... I actually enjoyed that more the second time. I don't think I had seen the musical number. I've heard that many, many times recently, yeah. but I haven't seen the musical number yeah. like in a long, long time. And I, yeah, I enjoyed I, that one even and more. And I hadn't seen the Holy One in a long, long time, and it was really nostalgic. It's it was funny, almost it was nostalgic. I know. It really, it's the first time I'm watching something and realizing, wow, there's an actual nostalgia now for this, for me, in seeing that musical number. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah, so there you have it, and there yeah. it is. Yeah, let us know uh, what you thought of it down in the comment section below. And uh, let us know what we should watch and review next. Should it be that? Or this? Or that? Yes, we know. We hear you. We know all of you folks that are not, uh, who are wanting us to cover something outside of the Hindi spectrum. We know. We're with you. What is that? That's the longest running movie in India history. Must have SRK on the cover. It does. Yeah.